<laughs> hey, y'all. Welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, this is Joe and Jay Outspoken. Remember to follow all of our platforms, and you can find them by going to Linktree forward slash Joe and Jay Outspoken. All right, Joe. Here we go. Another Tuesday. Oh, another episode. I love what are we it. doing this week? Well, to, this week we're gonna, we're going to talk about something that's been in the news lately, and it, it was probably where I saw it was on MSNBC. Don't ask why I was watching that, but um, <laughs> traitor. Anyway, this uh, th this anchor was talking about Christian nationalism, and I'm like, oh yeah, I'm like, wait a minute, what is that? <laughs> right, and you're going to hear words like Christian nationalism, like the new apostolic. Reformation. These are groups that you should get very, uh, very schooled on because they have a lot of power in Trump's circle. And the one thing that unites all of them, because there's many different groups orbiting Trump, but the thing that unites them as Christian nationalists, not Christians, by the way, because Christian nationalists is very different, mm -hmm. is that they believe that our rights as Americans, as all human beings, don't come from any earthly authority. They don't come from Congress. They don't come from the Supreme Court. They come from God. They come from God. They come from God. Yep. So the way it was depicted from her conversation was totally a MAGA, like total far right kind of thing. And I'm like, wow, that you guys are really stretching things right now. So I think it's important we talk about it because everyone knows who watches the, the, these podcasts that we are Christians, right? Um, I don't know about the whole Christian nationalist. Um, it, it, it kind of sounds, I don't know. I don't know. I think it's a good topic. I think we should talk about it. I want to hear people's opinions. I want to hear your opinion, especially, yeah. you know, it's, it's, <laughs> it's funny, bro. I'm sorry. I, it's just, it, to me, it's funny. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I, I think there'll be some interesting topics we're going to talk about today about that. So definitely. Yeah. Yep. Just I'm another ready, way to, just another way to divide the country. You got it. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. everybody welcome back um you've probably noticed that joe and i are not in the same room <laughs> uh what? we we needed a little bit of alone time um we did my life is being consumed by time with jay not that it hurt well, my feelings or bothered me at all but you know sometimes a man have... needs a space right yeah but now the separation anxiety is like yeah. kicking in so yeah <laughs> <laughs> I think we have enough. I think we had enough separation. We need to get back together. So, so Joe moved back to uh, Michigan. That's the word of the day. So, yeah, let's say everybody got Michigan. No, I'm just kidding. Anyway, so I'm going to no. read you something, Joe. We're going to play a little game. Let's all right? do this. And um, not that type of game, Jay. All right, well, come on, come on. This is a family I had show. I man. had the donkey poster uh, and the tail did. ready to go. You sure you did. Sure, you, I'm sure it was a tail too. Anyway, yeah. we're gonna play a little game. I want you to see and get it. it let me finish it before you don't be like those excited uh, um, guests that jump in. They're like, oh, I know what that is. Just let me finish it. All right, and then you tell I me. I won't hit the buzzer before. Uh, yeah, please finish. Yeah, the don't guess questions. the word either because you know what I mean. So, is it Jeopardy? I, is it, are you giving me the answer and I ask a question? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's one of those. All right, so here we go. When in the course of human events, it becomes necessary for one people to dissolve the political bands that have connected them with another and assume among the powers of the earth the separate and equal station to which the laws of nature and of nature's God entitle them, a decent respect to the opinions of mankind requires that they should declare the causes which impel them to the separation. Can you guess that? Where that came from. And if you can't, that's okay. There's another little segment I want to read, and it's a smaller seg section, and I think and this one you'll, you'll, I well, think you'll sounds, get. It sounds like a portion of the Declaration of Independence, but. Uh, well, you are 100% correct. So yeah, let me read okay. this other little section. Man, you're, man, use a smart. Where'd you but, go? But you know what? I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember that specifically, well, but. Well, because no this, one really, that's, that's it's, the, it's like. It's pretty the, big. That's the well. That's the beginning paragraph that people really 
don't hear, right? Because it starts mm-hmm. with the unanimous declaration and whatnot of the 13 right. colonies, right? Um, so anyway, this is, colonies. this is a section that people remember. So let me read you just the first part of this section. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights. That among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. So just in that, everyone now everybody remembers that, right? Everybody knows that that's right. the actual Declaration of Independence. But in that small, in that beginning paragraph, and in the second part of the the actual uh, Declaration of Independence, we hear the word mankind, nature, God, Creator, creation. We hear all those, correct? Right. So to say that Christianity is not embedded right um into the fabrics see how like how i said that fabric yeah <laughs> uh, it, it's not sewn into the fabrics of this country is ludicrous you know what i mean right. so you can't say like a uh, nation or christian national you can't and this is the problem that we have today that we're dealing with the 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 left side is that they want to attribute everything that we do to a a base of hatred, right? Of separation, of, of whatever it is that they want to call it. But the truth of the matter is that that this country was founded on the belief that we all have a right to practice religion, our own religion, right? To live right. free, to to do what what we want. I mean, that was the whole purpose of the Declaration of Independence, right? And for and for them to think that there is nothing sewn into the very fabrics of this nation that has to do with God or creation or or any belief is again ludicrous. Why, how could you even say that? And how can you associate that into politics? Is the biggest thing, you know. Yeah. It, and and for it, and what people don't understand that we we're not here to because again now let's take another look. What does the, our, our, the, the monetary items that we use to for trade in the United States. There's a little section. There's a little bit of part in there that says something. Do you know what that says? In God we trust. In God we trust. So that's another declaration from the four, from our from our yeah. forefathers that there is a creator, someone a, a, a supreme being, right? That was again. Um, part of the fabric of our nation of the of the creating of our nation so it tells you there that the first the first thing we should trust is god right Right. that's the first thing it doesn't say in in congress we trust in the judicial (laughs) system we trust right into the into the democrats we trust into the republicans we trust none of that is said no. Why? Because the one declaration of independence is a declaration. That's what exactly what it is of our independence, not just from England, but of the tyranny that was going on. Right. And, right. And, and liberate ourselves to be able to worship whoever we want, to do whatever we want, to work in whatever we want to, you know, not pay ridiculous taxes and uh, which we are doing now. But, you know, all these things. Right. Then came the Constitution of the United States. Right. Which is separate from that, but in doing so, even in the de- even in the Constitution, it says that there is no government that is over us. Right? The government is for the people of the people. That's correct. So if we have a a, a, a tyrant type of government that's trying to lead us, we as citizens of this nation, we could, we 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 could bear our arms and and take over. Right, because right. we're not gonna get uh, we're not gonna get suppressed by a tyrannical government because that's what was written. That's the laws. These are our forefathers who founded this country, right? Yeah. But to that's... sit there and call us a Christian nationalist, they're just spewing that hate, man. I don't know what you think. That's my thought. That's my opinion. Well, <clears throat> for more, we... follow me on Pornhub. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> um. So. Here's my belief in it. So there's people that are going to watch this, you know, and I I think most of the people that watch our channel as of right now probably have, you know, a similar belief that we do. But there may be people that come across it that um, 
you know, maybe they don't believe or they're kind of, what is it called? Agnostic, you know, where they're mm-hmm. kind of just, meh, whatever. I say, mm-hmm. um, I have no idea what agnostic is, but yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I believe that we are all what's called sovereign citizens, Correct. right? Now. Not the ones you see it, on TV, guys, fighting the cops. Not those. No, no. Because if you go to like the, if you go to the dictionary, let me here, hold on a second. Let me pop this up here really quick. So how fast I could do this. Do you right. remember when you had to look it up in alphabetical order in an actual oh dictionary? Gosh. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, <laughs> so here's a dictionary thing. Um, my screen's going all crazy here. So, from uh, Oxford Language Dictionary, sovereign citizen. Um, it's a noun. So it's it's okay. not a it's not a not pronoun. A he, it's, not a, it's not a he she. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So a member of a political movement or people who oppose taxation, question the legitimacy of government, and believe that they are not subject to the law. Each of these organizations may have different beginnings or beliefs, but ultimately uh, they all believe that the laws of the land do not apply to them. Mm-hmm. Now, so that's kind of the the extremist version okay. of it, right? Um, there's another version of that that people that are sovereign citizens that live in this country mm-hmm. and they believe in our constitution and our founding fathers of, of uh, you know, they did the best they could at the time and the resources that they had and the knowledge that they had at the time. Those men were extremely smart, right? And they read a lot of, um, <laughs> a lot of books from other very smart men all around the world from uh, the French to the English and, and, uh, and, Greek philosophers and stuff like that, and they tried to use everything they could to create a system that would be as as fair and equitable to everybody, you know, as possible. Now, um, you know, people will jump in here and say, "Oh, well, we had slaves and all that." Well, that that whole thing was going on long before the United States came along. The United States started this and and before it was even 13 colonies when you had the first people that were here mm-hmm. they didn't have slaves right what the, why did the, the slave trade what yeah the pilgrims didn't have slaves so why did the slave trade start well once they got tobacco and cotton going england and spain and all these places over there that wanted stuff from this continent what did they do they said well you got to ramp up production how do you do that they couldn't get enough people over here to work, so right. you know, and they already had slaves on on the you know European continent and uh, down in um, Africa and everything. So, anyhow, uh, with the whole sovereign citizen deal, whether you believe in God or you don't believe in God or you're indifferent, we are all, uh, and it says in the Constitution, inalienable rights. Mm-hmm. Right? When you were born, you were born to nothing. Right. Not good, not bad, just a freedom to be. Your parents should have the opportunity to raise you and teach you, you know, right from wrong, which seems like it's not happening too much these days. Um, and, you know, at at the beginning of this country's founding, uh, things were going really good, you know. Yeah, there were bumps and, and, and um, you know, issues and things that, that we had to get past. But there's a reason, there is a reason that this country flourished the way it did over the next couple hundred years. And that is because the ideals, right, the the uh, Judeo-Christian system that we had the basis of, which is all based around the Bible and based around a belief in God. Mm-hmm. And and if you go back, these guys like Jefferson and um, uh, Franklin, you know, they weren't necessarily so much into they wouldn't have told you to go to church every day. They thought that's not the kind of guys they were, you know, uh, Franklin was a, you know, a lot of those guys were Masons and there was all kinds of weird stuff there, but right. they all had this solid belief that if we had a core, uh, structure that was based off biblical principles, things would, you know, wash out in the end and, and stuff did really well. And if you look at nowadays, um, the chaos you know, we, is ensued. Yeah and, yeah, and we said this in another episode that we had. You know, you you asked me point blank, what? Do, why do you think things are going the way they are? Well, because people are walking away from religion. As as the the curve goes down, mm-hmm. right? Of people not going to church and not having religion, not having something to fulfill them anymore. What's happening with crime? You know, all these kind of 
you know, thoughts and, and uh, negativity and stuff like that, it's it's good, getting rampant, yeah. right? Drug use, um, depression, all those kind of things. So there was a couple of things that I kind of wanted to go over. Uh, I had some definition deals here. So, like, what is patriotism, right? Because that would be the thing that we would say is the big the big push for a Christian nationalist, right? Mm-hmm. And and so right out the gate, I want to say I don't I don't consider myself a Christian nationalist. I'm a Christian, you know, yeah. but 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 I consider myself a patriot, yeah. you know, and but they're so two Christ- different things though. They are. They're putting yeah, them so, together. The, the, well, these left people, they like to do that. They're putting it together kind of like you, there's so much there's so many um evidence of them doing this and 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 you're right they're two one's a religious belief system the other one's a political belief system right right? and and yet there's still a now when you and i talk about things here um on this episode we talk about we don't say hey i'm a republican or stuff like that we say that we're conservatives which falls more under religious belief than it is a political belief right but i you know we do we do talk a lot about my dad right um trump and good old Donnie, but we don't we don't relate to the Republican part of it because both you and I agree that there are some horrible Republicans, right? Oh yeah, that don't have the same belief that uh, conservatives do, which is again based on um, morals that we have as as Christians, right? And that's that whole thing that that people don't right. understand. And um, I think what's what's important, Jay, and you made a very valid point, is that they're two distinct and separate uh, belief systems, right? We don't mix our religion with our politics, right? Now, do we have do we make comments about it? Yes. Why? Based on our religious beliefs, right? Because a lot of these politicians make decisions um, that are against what we believe in. So right. of course we're going to make a comment about it, um, but. Do we mix it? No, I don't think we should. I don't think we will. Um, it's just that one is very connected to the other, but still separate. You know right. what I'm saying? And I think that's important. And when the left starts getting this crazy things, that's so irritating. It, it's really irritating because I they're planting these seeds, seeds of doubt. And, and, yeah. and, and, and like you said earlier, it divides a nation, right? Yeah. They see that the, the whole... Um, LGBT thing is kind of going out the window because now they're seeing like the OG gays, you know, the ones that we grew up yeah. around, yeah, are kind of not, distancing themselves from that LGBTQRXWPRZ right. yeah. because of the trans movement, yeah. right? Well, and it, which it's, is lost it's, control. It's lost. Let's let's be honest. It has completely that's lost correct. control. That's correct. And it and and even the old school trans, right? Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. the people that have the more we didn't call them trans. We call them cross dressers. Cross dressers, remember. Or, but but even and this is kind of a I don't know if it's an oxymoron, but somebody that's like a conservative trans, right? And there are some out there right now that you know they they're going to vote on the right side of the fence, and they don't believe in all this stuff. And I, I'm telling you, it's over and over again. As soon as you started involving kids in all this stuff, is when the mama bears came out and you messed up, right? You you could have just walked the line, and nobody would have nobody would have cared. But, you know, that created a whole mess. So you go back to um, we just had the primaries. Right. Mm -hmm. And and Trump was like like crushing every state swept, swept, swept 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 every state. Yeah. With the exception of two. One Washington, D.C. One and not shocked, which (laughs) and which. Yeah. Not. So why was why was that lady? hanging on for dear life for so long. I don't even want to say her name. Everybody knows who she is. Why was she hanging on for so long to to go up against him? Because that was a division point. So mm-hmm. they want to divide the party. Now <clears throat> you have, there's an organization, I'll have to look it up and I can put it up here. It's like Christians Against Christian Nationalism or something like that. There's actually a, an actual organization. They have a website and everything already. Yeah. And they're putting That's out. That's a plan. You know, That's another they're plan. Putting up, they're putting up P- PSA videos, you know, <clears throat> and um, yeah, it's really it's it's silly. But again, it's a division point because what they want is they don't want a solid, you know, a solid core 
to go out and vote. They want yeah. people to say, I'm going to stay home because I don't believe in all this stuff, you know, and, and that's the problem. And the thing is, guys, whether you're on the left or on the right, the number one thing or on the fence <laughs> or on the fence or wherever you're lefty, loosey, righty, tidy, doesn't matter. <laughs> we are being divided by our government. We are 110 percent. We are like every piece of media. Everything that is sent out there is to divide us. It's black against white. It's straight against gay. It's right against left. It's, you know, everything. It's schools against parents. It's th- think about it. How many different things are there? It's Black Lives Matter against, you know, the Proud Boys or whatever. Good and you God. know what? You know what's really sad? So I don't agree with really either one of those groups, but I guarantee you 110% if you got a bunch of the Proud Boys together and you got a bunch of the Black Lives Matter, like guys together, not the kind of fringe weirdos, but um, you get those guys together and have them sit down and have a talk about what they're concerned about. They are concerned about the same thing crap going on in their neighborhoods that they want to clean up that they want to fix that 100. the government's just the government is just like overlooking 100 100 percent right so you've got folks pouring into this country and what happened what happened the the mexican people the the uh black people in the in the country they don't mean anything anymore you've no. got all these haitians and all these people coming and listen, I, I feel bad for people in these other countries, but we can't. I don't, because you know why? No one feels bad for the homeless people that are in our country. So and that, I don't and feel that's, bad. That's right. And I, I mean, I still feel bad for people, but I mean, it's the same thing as like over in, you know, Ukraine. I feel bad for people losing their so homes. So that's again, different because you know? there's actually war going on over there, yeah. you know, that, that this guy started. The the people fleeing these other, they're not. Most of these guys are starting. Look at all these Look at the how crime has increased in like oh, New yeah. York City and all these other places. Um, gangs that you got these little these little uh, Vespa gangs that that, that you see the in Vespa other countries. Yeah. You know what I mean, and now it's just, they're all of a sudden here. Yeah, and so stealing purses and doing yeah. stupid stuff. So no, you know that's ridiculous. Let me so let me ask you something because this is what the left does. They they just throw out stuff like Christian nationalism, right? And and it's a MAGA movement, and these guys are out of control. They only believe that God has it. Well, it's in the Bible. I don't know what to tell you. But let me throw this name out. See if you know who it is. All right, his name is Gerald Lemon Lyman. Kenneth Smith. Yeah, that's a long, that's four names. Anyway, Gerald Lyman Kenneth Smith. You know who that mm. is? No. no. Okay. Well, he's, he's, a, he's, a, he's an American clergyman and a politician. This is the guy who started the, the, the whole uh, Christian nationalism movement. Oh. Okay. Um, it was this little um, inception of it. Um, He's a he is a political. Let me read this. He was a political organizer for. Before I read this section, you know what his party was. Mm, Green Party. I don't know. <laughs> so again, this this is, this is the guy who we're going to blame for the inception of this Christian nationalism. He's a Democrat. Yeah, that, shocking, right? Right, just like the KKK figures. and everybody else. Oh my God, no, he's not. So anyway, um, he's a political organizer. He was a political organizer for U.S. Senator Huey Long out of Louisiana, also mm-hmm. a Democrat, right? In the thirties, he he's a fascist. He uh, he's an anti-Semite and anti-Semite. Semite. Yeah. That that one. That one too. That one. And he's a, an anti. What I say? A, anti-communist, right? Um, and so he, he actually created a party. It was called the Christian Nationalist Party. Uh, hmm. He's the American First Party and an extremist. A monthly publication called The Cross and the Flag. Hmm. So he he was, um, again, a Democrat. He started this. But, again, like, like, me, like the media loves to do, they're throwing it on us, right? That it's a MAGA right. movement, that it's... And don't take my word for it. Look it up his, again. His Jay's going to put the name up here. Um, this Gerald guy, and and look it up for yourselves. He he yeah, has these crazy. Let me write this name down so I remember. See, he's got these. <laughs> well, maybe he's not going to put that. It's it's no. Gerald Lyman Kenneth. Smith. I got it. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, and I'm thinking, wait a minute. Are you trying to pull a, a fast one on us again? <laughs> You, 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 um, MSNBC people, right? And, and you turkey buzzards. So think about that, Jay. It was the left who started this, right? 
and and rightly and and, and now is it like a, a crazy belief system? Absolutely. But he wasn't Republican. He wasn't right. a conservative. He was a Democrat who worked right. for Democrat, right? And so it was his idea. Not not the not the conservative's idea, not the Republican's idea. Yeah. It was a democratic view, right? And he actually at one point I think ran for president. I mean, he got like 3 votes, but I mean, the the dude was trying to change things but again that's that's the trumpster trump brought this up he's the one that created this christian nationalism this is this is the problem that we have with and it happened again recently with um the media that you know when uh, trump was talking about the cars and he said bloodshed and they're like if i and then all of a sudden the media all they got was a little bite where he said if i lose there'll be bloodshed Right. They made it seem oh, like. Yeah. Did you see that? Have you seen that? Yeah. Well, they're doing the same thing with this Christian nationalist. They, yeah, they, but heard, you... they heard it and they're like, oh, that has to be a, a far right thing. That has to yeah. be a MAGA thing. Well, did you see already? I mean, because <laughs> I mean, the Internet is there, right? I mean, we can yeah, search so away. quick. It's not going away. So that whole thing with um, uh, it was going to be a great slaughter or bloodshed or whatever. or Bloodbath is what he said. So. Yeah. um Biden, for this was in 2020. Biden warns against primary bloodbath as Sanders uh, sharpens attacks ahead of the election. Obama in uh, 2016. Obama says Europe will be a bloodbath if the EU breaks up. So this is used by other people, and but it but it only matters well, how about, how about you're not black if you don't vote for me, <laughs> right? Oh man. <laughs> You know what? That dude used the N word and everything else. Well, here's the I, thing, Jay. I just don't understand. Here's the thing, and and you you hit the nail on the head earlier when you said this, um, because I was gonna like, nah, don't listen to Jay. I don't believe that, but you 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 really did. <laughs> um, I don't listen and, to me sometimes. And this is and this is the well. I'm glad you're on here because I can't even pronounce words. You know what I mean? It's the Mexican side <laughs> of me. Anyway, um. One, one important thing that you said, and I, I truly believe this, and I think you and I have talked about this in the past, is that that it, it's not like people are so blinded by the fake media, so blinded by the left. That mm-hmm. that, then, and, and here's the thing, guys. That, but I'm going to say it like it is. Do do we, me and Jay, trust politicians? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. We don't. No. We don't trust any of those people because they're out there getting rich on our dime and on breaking the law uh, when they send nope. you know poor Martha Stewart to jail. But they're they're making money on trades right. that, that everyone else is telling yeah. them about. But here, and worse than what she did. Yeah, uh, yes, yes. Dude. But here and here's the thing that that is important that everyone understands, regardless of my belief, Jay's belief, or anyone else's belief. Um, that we have to have some core values, right? We have to have, like you said earlier, right. a solid foundation, whether it's mm-hmm. it, God or Buddha or, 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 you know, whoever you have to have a solid foundation to build upon. Right. And that's just simple, um, math, right? Like you have to have yep. something that's, that's solid. That it works in marriages. It works in disciplining your children. You have to have a solid foundation with your children to, to raise strong kids, um, or right. a strong foundation in your marriage to have a lasting relationship. It, it's everywhere we look, we have to have these things, right? Um, but the, the, the thing is that these politicians and I'm, I'm right now it's the left now, Two, three, ten years down the road, it could be the right doing it. But right now, right. the left is just so focused on winning. That's their biggest thing is this power struggle, right? Right. And let's be honest. Trump doesn't need to be president. The guy's got money. He just made another deal with his social media platform. He's got like yep. four billion coming, right? And um, I'm going to get a DNA test to prove that he's my dad. But anyway, um, <laughs> there, there's so much stuff for him. that CEO Joe. CEO Joe. Uh, that he doesn't need this, right? He doesn't need this aggravation. He doesn't need this dealing. But, you know, most people are like, oh, he wants power. When he does, he's going he's gonna to divide everything. He's going to take. He's gonna be there for 20 years. That's what Hillary, Hillary, Hillary did, said, right? That, and, yeah. and, you, and, and, and all that is is scare tactics, right, from the left. Because now... What we're seeing is desperation, right? Yeah. Because look at, like you said, look at the primaries. Look what happened, right? People are mm-hmm. tired of it. People could, so back to what my point was, is that politicians are going to lie. It doesn't matter which side, left or right, the middle. 
Yep. They're all going to love 100%. It. All of them. <laughs> but especially the, especially politicians that have been doing it for 40 years. 40. Yeah. Right? Term limits right now. They're, I'm telling you. But here, yeah. here's the thing that it is more. It is obvious. It's like right in your face. Obvious that they are working day and night to divide this country. Yeah. And and so and it's sad to say, but what is one of the things most recently, not like recent recently, but that has that brought this nation together. It, it was a devastation to our country. Mm. But what brought it 9/11. together? Nine eleven. Nine eleven. Brought us all together. Yeah. The, yeah. the 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 color lines were blurred and which I believe that they shouldn't even exist. But who keeps bringing That's color? Right. The left, right? They yeah. always want to bring it, bring it, bring it, bring well, it. Well, and you think about it. So good point that you bring up. The last time we had a full country where nobody cared what color, what language, religion, anything, that brought everybody together. And what do you hear now that they're doing to 9-11? Just squishing it in the ground, saying that January 6th was the most horrific thing, worse than 9-11. They are minimizing are you, it. Are you kidding me? Like and they're saying it was maybe worse than Pearl Harbor. Get, uh, dude, seriously, that is like the most disrespectful thing to ever say. Like, nine <clears throat> eleven was horrific, right? I would still put Pearl Harbor above that. We oh, lost we lost so many people, American lives you know? and, and and civilians and so many people died. I mean, right? The the towers and, was devastating, but we lost more during Pearl Harbor. That's, they that's, we have that's a, right. We have a and watery grave with the USS yeah, still Arizona there. still there. You know, so yeah. it. No, you're right. You're absolutely right. And and for them to do that, why? Because they want to keep that focus up. Why? Because the polls are coming, voting's coming, right? And they yeah. want to keep that at the forefront. Like, guys, come on. They they're feeding that hate cycle. They're just feeding yeah. it and feeding. Oh, you know, you know, you don't like the orange, the Cheeto guy. You know, you don't like him. Right. And here's the thing, man. Look at what he said in in 1967. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Oh, you mean when he was standing next to Jesse Jackson and we were standing next to everybody else that was praising him when he got like all kinds of awards, you know, because his pocketbook was loose, you know, and all of a sudden he became a politician and mean orange man, mean orange man. The number one reason, the number one reason that... As you move up the ladder, so there's this guy named Dan Locke, and I remember I recommend everybody get his book. It's called F U Money. It's the letters F and U and Money. It's by Dan Locke, and his whole thing with that is if you Dan, no, you well, <laughs> you need you need to make yeah right right back at you, buddy. Right back at you, buddy. Um, I don't even know you. That that you should get to the point where you can make enough money that if somebody asks you to do something. Um, you can tell him F you, yeah. right? So now think about whether you like like him or not. Uh, Elon Musk set in a you know big conference deal, and you had uh, what's his name? Not Chapek, the other one from uh, Disney was setting out there. Bob Bob oh. Iger was setting out there. Took me a second to process that. Oh, when he said through. that. Oh yeah, when he, I love. And that. he said, "Go F yourself." Yeah. You know, and literally, the reason he can say that. So he's the kind of the reason people don't like Elon Musk. This is why they don't like him. It has nothing to do with him taking over Twitter or anything like that. It's because he because he had X now. Yeah, Yeah. because he has so much money that they cannot control him. Somebody can't go to Elon Musk. Somebody can't go to Donald Trump. Somebody can't go to these people and say, hey, here's one hundred million dollars. I want you to do all this dirty stuff, this backdoor stuff, all these kind of things. Now, how about Congress? Do you think if they were offered a hundred million, a done, right? Done, done. A second, done. They do any? They would sell our country out, we'd, and they are selling our. We'd country We'd be called out. the United States of Shell. <laughs> yeah. Or mobile. <laughs> mobile, yeah. Or, o- or OPEC in general, yeah. yeah. Or United States of Pfizer. Pfizer. Uh, <laughs> Good. But you're we're at- gonna get a strike for that, man. So. <laughs> hey, so just so you guys know, uh, I'm feeling good. <laughs> yeah, disappear. Yeah, so. <laughs> yeah. yeah. If, if, if all I'm- of a sudden this uh, show goes blank, you know, <laughs> start start looking for the signs. <laughs> good job, Something Joe. Good job. Get good this job. Getting this tagged that way. But no, you're absolutely <laughs> you're absolutely right. You're 100 percent correct. That you know what I can't understand, and and this is just like what some Joe people Biden says. <laughs> well, that's okay. Turn on national pressure. <laughs> so here's here's a couple of things that that 
that bother me with with some of like my people. When I say my people, I mean my 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 culture, Mexicans, is that people cannot understand or comprehend that. Oh wait, you're Mexican and you and you like Trump. You know, you're you're Republican. And I tell them, I'm like, look, it's not about Trump. It's not about him at all. I go, it's about my belief system, what I believe as and, and right. as a Mexican, a- any Mexican, it, it, and you see him now. Um, we believe in a lot of. Um, conservative views, right? We believe in the nuclear family. We believe in um, pro-life. Uh, we believe in hard work. We believe in. We don't believe in handouts. We believe in a lot of things that make people conservatives, or at least the view of conservative. And, um, and this is not just things that we do in the United States. These are things that people did back in in Mexico and continue to do in Mexico, right? Now, yeah. just like in America, today's generation of Mexicans have kind of gone. Rrr! You know what I mean? They're, they're, they're all falling into that whole Latinx crap, which, you know, to me is like, bro, come on. We're the last people to try to fall into that kind of BS. Yeah. <laughs> but they exist. They still happen. It's, it's still going on. But that and I, so so th- here's the other thing. So that's one thing that bothers me that people can't understand that is because, well, if you don't understand that, then you don't understand your own culture. Right. You could have these Aztec warrior tattoos and this all cool thing and say, Oh, I'm a proud Mexican when you have no understanding of what a Mexican really is. Right. And, and especially the ones that are, you know, don't study your culture. You know, you can't say right. like, Oh, you know, Cholos, that's a Mexican thing. That, that's a, that's a Chicano thing. That's something that Mexican Americans here, you know, right. do because of back in right. the, the zoot suitor days and stuff like that. Yeah. You know, it's they, the same idea as like Tex-Mex right. food and right. stuff like that. You, you know? you, there's, there's nothing wrong with it. Absolutely it's just, not. It's, it's, it's just not it's, that Mexican. It's not Mexican. It's an, I use this word before. It's an amalgamation of, of cultures. There you go again. You, you better put a little definition on here, man, because I swear <laughs> to God. Like, oh, man. Anyway, so that's so the other part I don't like is that people don't believe. Or under, and look at me, bro. You know me. I'm I'm Mexican to the core. I love you know my 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 culture, my heritage. But I'm a proud American. I wave that American flag wherever I go, and and that's who, that's who I am. Right. Um, I'm bald because I love the bald eagle because that's our bird. You know, there's so many factors going on here. So he's got feathers. Yeah, I got feathers. So and and absolutely nothing wrong. I could I could love my culture, but I could love my country too. You know what I mean? Yeah. And there's nothing wrong with that. So I don't understand is that people cannot believe that Trump loves this nation, that he loves this country so mm-hmm. much that he's willing to lose money to become a president and make if, America yeah. first again. Right. People are like, no, no, he's in it for for he's 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 corrupt and and do blah, blah. like, uh, OK, during his presidency, his presidency, nothing about corruption came about. Right. During all these 91 allegations of, of that he was accused of still hasn't been prosecuted on even. Right. They can't yeah. prove any of this stuff. But look at how all the people, the D.A.s and everybody else in these in Georgia, in New York and it, wherever all falling apart. All falling yeah. apart, right? Why? Because they did it backdoory. They did all these crazy stuff. They they're doing lies. It's all falling apart. Everything's coming out. Yeah. Look at this. Uh, uh, is it what's her name? Mays or the DA? Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, Fanny, Fanny, Man. Fanny, Fanny, something. Fanny. Look at that's all you need to know. You know who she. You is. know who Fanny <laughs> is. So look what's happening to her. Oh, all of a sudden oh, her boyfriend man. stuff's coming up, and like you know, like oh no, I didn't do that. Oh no, I paid him cash. I'm like you know, like all this weird stuff. I'm like, all right, look. They made, and it finally came out, dude. Either you go or he goes. You know, like, I can't believe that they didn't pull them both off. I, I, but, I'm with you on that one. But again, yeah. we're not a perfect world, not a perfect country, right? And right. and and so it, it's just all these things that they're going after Trump, after Trump, after Trump. It, I, I, it's like you, there has to be a point where people say, okay, all right, why? Like we've had so many other presidents do so many the exact same thing, right? Like, oh, yeah. like. Um, who's a sex player? Clinton. He, that guy. <laughs> That's funny. You remember that. <laughs> yeah, first. I remember that. <laughs> uh, he, that guy was hardcore against immigration. So was Obama. Yeah. Right. So was Obama. No, the left though, the left, not, not a word. No, they praised them. They were like all standing up and applauding during his speech. Like, yeah, yeah. you know, right. Trump says it. You're racist. You're this, you're that. I'm like, hmm, weird. Weird when the shoe's on the other foot. 
you know yeah. and and again it how the turntables yeah yeah <laughs> so but, but again i love all our music references but anyway like <laughs> like make it make sense like how look no, look america sense, <laughs> i'm talking to you i know you ain't that stupid it's in your face. Like they're doing it like nonchalantly. They're like, ah, they'll never notice. Or ah, they hate them enough that they'll just believe these lies. You know, like, man, they're dividing you against us and against Jay, right? right? Because now the the white male is the new the new uh um uh, piñata, you know, we we get to beat them <laughs> down now and not do anything about it, right? So um everybody wants this candy. Yeah. So I'm I'm with you 100%, brother. I'm I believe in what you said that they're just trying to divide us. They're doing a hell of a job because this country is yep. divided. But also, if you notice, there is a lot more Hispanic and black that are going to yep. the right. Not because of Trump, but because they see that nothing that they've been told has been done, right? That they promised wasn't done. The open borders are only causing more problems. In our nation, inflation is crazy, but you still have the president saying, oh, we're at the all time low. I brought back so many jobs, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> right. All the all this. Right. And then you got that crazy uh, press secretary that just, oh, no, he is. He's on top of his game. He's he's one of the brightest presidents that you'll ever see. You know, I'm like, OK, girl, one, get off the crack pipe, because clearly you're not looking at the same yeah. president that we're looking at. But all these just horrible, bro. I don't know. I'm yeah, whatever. God bless yeah. America. Yeah, the, I mean, <clears throat> just going to the grocery store alone, you know, gas pump, forget about it. I mean, it's, it is what it is. Um, just the grocery store, or go out to eat at a restaurant or something like that. How much it cost you four years ago is a very stark difference from what it costs now, and that is from stupid, ignorant policy decisions. A lot that were made to spite the previous leader and that was it it wasn't to do any good it was to spite the previous leader just to turn the table on things that had been done then to say nope we we don't want any of that good or bad we just don't like it anymore and that really shows one the childishness and then two how willing and how far there they will go to you know it doesn't matter if it hurts it because the thing is is those people that are in you know, in Congress, the people that are in politics, this stuff doesn't affect them. It's just like the movie stars and folks like that that get up on stage and accept their stupid Oscar or whatever, and they get up there and start talking about, um, you know, all the things of the world. It's like you have no right to say anything, really, because you fly on private jets, right? You walk into the most expensive restaurant that you and I wouldn't probably even be allowed in, or we'd have to wait for two days to get it. They get. We'd be allowed to in. We just have to work. Yeah, yeah. We gotta wash dishes, <laughs> um, and you know they're probably gonna get their food for free because you know if we got this movie star in here, everybody's gonna want to come back to our place and all that. You know, sign mm-hmm. a picture and hang it on the wall and all that kind of stuff. These people don't have uh, the interest of the average person that's working a nine to five, that's having to get out there and grind daily and, and do their thing and pay their bills and. And go, dang, I don't have the same money at the end of the month that I used to. And I even got a raise, right? And and that's the that's the dumb dumb thing. Yeah. We've got so many of these folks that are like, well, if if, if places would pay more, well, guess what's happening? So places are, are paying you more. So that uh I was talking to somebody about this a couple days ago like chips and all kinds of, you know, things that you find on the grocery shelves, right? You used to pay, say, a dollar for it or whatever. Mm -hmm. And it was in this big of a bag. Then they raised it to $2 and $3 and $4. And then by the time it got to like five bucks, they said, listen, we we can't raise the price anymore on this stuff. We're going to make the bag smaller. Still charge you five bucks. But so, and I know people have noticed this. Right now, obviously, a gallon of milk, they can't change what a gallon is. Right. But these things that are bagged and have ounces and stuff that people don't pay attention to anyways, all that stuff is shrinking down. Um, There's more air bags, too. Yeah, more air. Probably not bad. There's a lot of fatties out there that need to calm down on eating so much. (laughs) Fat fatties. (laughs) But um, 
you know, these are all the deceptions that are being used against us to, um, you know, really make us fight against one another, another and think that, you know, there's um, that we are the issue they are my, against uh, one another. Yeah. And and the issue is the guys at the top that are, you know, great and all these things. So, you know, to kind of close out, I mean, the whole thing on Christian nationalism, um, it's it's really a, a made up story. It's a fairy tale. Right. Well, it's, now, a, it's a real thing, but it started by the left. Are, uh, yes, and the thing is, are there some are there some crazy people out there? Absolutely. On the right, on the left, in the center, all over the place. There's people walking down the street right now, you know, yelling at the sky, believing in, you know, spacemen are coming down to get them again. Um, you're always going to have... It happened. You're always going to have nut jobs <laughs> out there, you know? Wow. And um, uh, the thing I is, is that, that we have to understand that we have to... We have to stand together. We we have to have conversations because that is one of the biggest things in a relationship between two people, man and a woman, let's say, or married. As soon as the conversation stops, everything goes downhill. You're not right? wrong, brother. And so that's what's happening. The conversation is stopping, and we are just at odds with each each other. And and you know, it's turned to as bad as violence in the streets. It really has, and we've yeah. seen that. So yeah. You know, so everybody, you know, make sure you like Joe's saying, do better, be better. I mean, uh, just what we got to change. You can't change everybody else, but you can change the person in the mirror. Right. You know what? There's nothing wrong with standing there and having. you know what? If you don't believe someone's views then sit down and have a conversation with them. Tell them why you don't yeah. believe it. And I, I guarantee you, if someone came up to me and said, look, I don't believe what you said and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, well, let's have a discussion. You know, I'm not going to argue yeah. with you. I'm not going to try right. to change your views, but I'm going to tell you why I view the way I view. And you're going to do the same thing, right? There's This is a problem that, again, that you that that we keep saying is that, and you made it very perfect clear right now, is that we stop talking. We stop talking to each other. Well, we yeah. stop talking to um, the people next door. And, and we've isolated ourselves and, and, and thank you, yep. COVID. And we isolated ourselves and, and are living our own little world, you know, thinking that everybody's against us and that everyone wants to hurt us. And we can't we can't live that way. We need to make sure that that we talk with each other and find out what you know what. And, and I think that most of you will be surprised. You will be surprised to know that that's that neighbor that you have that that with the, the funny hair is going to have the same concerns that you do. You know, yeah. maybe a little different in, in some things, but for the most part, their concerns are going to be the same. And, yeah. you know, and, and it goes for all sides. You know, we need to learn to talk to people. We 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 stop learning how to do that. Probably about the same time we stop learning how to write cursive. But we we really need to kind of get back to basics. You know, you know, something in, something that you and I in, in the corporate world have always talked about that, you know, when things get too crazy, what do we say? Get back to basics. Right. Let's get mm -hmm. back to basic. Yep. Let's start from the ground up and let's start building again. And that's what we need to do, because I, I think that this country is so divided on both sides that we just now just we just we're full of hate, man. And that's that's yeah. not that's not what this country was built on. This is America, you know, so, America, America. So that's it, man. I ran out of coffee, too. So I'm done. <laughs> All right, everybody. Well, thanks once again for joining us here. Um, Jay, and that's Joe, and this has been Joe and Jay Outspoken. Uh, don't forget to follow us on all of our social media channels. And, um, yeah, and uh, every mid-month Wednesday now, we we just had our second episode. Uh, mid-month Wednesdays, we do uh, Outspoken. Man's edition. edition. Yeah. And uh, we'll have one really next good. month coming up. Yeah. So, anyhow, remember, everybody, take care of one another. And do better, be better. And as always, God, God bless, bless America. America. We'll see you guys. See ya.